a lot of singers confuse uh, tone openness for tone volume. So when they hear someone like Maren Morris or Bruno Mars, they hear them singing and they go, oh my gosh, they're singing so loud. I'm gonna have to really push to get that loudness. But oftentimes what's actually happening is the singer in the back of their throat is uh, kind of constricting or closing certain muscles that kind of keep the sound trapped hostage inside of the body. So what's happening is when we're squeezing here, but we're trying to get the sound out and it can't, we're oftentimes forced to push more in order to get the same amount of sound that we're after. Now, this can completely be alleviated if you find out how to open or deconstrict those muscles in the back of the throat. This has to do with the, the swallowing muscles, the back of the tongue muscles, basically a lot of the muscles that you would engage if you were doing, say, like a character voice, like, ah, <laughs> I'm just gonna go down to the store now. That, those are muscles that I am engaging to produce, that kind of pinch the sound in a certain way, that produce that character voice that I couldn't do without. But when I'm singing, if I wanna sound like me, <laughs> that's definitely not what I'm gonna do. So instead, I wanna have a nice kind of open, available space back there. Now, I don't want it to be too open. A lot of times people say open your throat, which I'm not a huge fan of because it causes the singer to go too open, which also doesn't sound very natural. You would also do too open if you wanted to create a character voice, like, um, okay, uh, today we're going to make a fried chicken. If that's not your normal voice, if that's not your natural voice, then you would have to put on something to create that. So let's take Marin Morris and Bruno Mars as an example. <laughs> So when she does that little ad lib there, hey! she's actually not singing very loud at all. She probably is in the studio. She's probably this far away from the mic. She's probably got her mouth open instead of because if I, if I don't open my mouth, if I don't open the back of my throat, then I have to push more from here, from here, from here to like get the sound out. It does not feel good. But if I just open a little bit more, hey, hey, like when one of my kids pinches me, it's like, hey, excuse me, you know, I don't go, ha! Ah! So I'm kind of controlling my voice from internally. Hey, hey, hey. You see how relaxed my tongue is here? Everything about my setup is very natural, neutral, relaxed, open. It's not pinching or squeezing or closing down in any of the checkpoints along the way from my breath all the way to final product sound. Okay, Bruno Mars. So right there, he's using actually a, an intentional squeeze to create a little bit of texture that only happens for just a split second. And then he opens it right back up. Great example. Although it hurts. He's not going, although it hurts. His mouth is open, his throat is open, everything is just kind of in a natural open position but then he's actually controlling his volume quite a bit. He's not singing very loud. Although it hurts, I'll be the first to say. Okay, and then he kind of closes the sound on the next line. And this is for effect, this is intentional. And I was wrong. And you can hear actually when he opens it back up again. It's a very intentional choice. The greatest singers, have full control over what, how open they are versus how loud they are. So don't confuse tone loudness with tone openness. These two are very, very separate. Once you really get control over that openness, you notice that everything you do is easier. Everything you sing doesn't have as much work to it, it as much labor. You can get more sound for less effort. You can sing for longer periods of time and longer within your whole career. Uh, with less effort. 
Don't forget to subscribe and follow us for more content just like this every week.